like to build the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honey bees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing. NC TV 45 presents The Thought for the Day. Monday through Friday, we give you a message of spirituality and inspiration. Your host, Hello. Throughout the day, let's remember Luke 10, verse 17. Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. In this passage, Jesus had just met up with his disciples as they returned from a tour of several cities preparing them for Jesus' arrival. These first century evangelists were surprised that even demons were made subject to them by the authority in Jesus' name. All through the Gospels we read of Jesus casting out demons. Why? When people sin, demons claim control over their lives until they repent. Demons are invisible, yet their influence on society is very visible with school shootings, drug and alcohol addiction, hatreds, strife, jealousies, and so on. Jesus could literally see these demons and instructed his disciples to order them out of the regions that he would go into before he went to do his teachings. People under demonic influence cannot and will not listen to sound reasoning so prayer and deliverance ministries are needed. Both Old and New Testaments have much to teach about spiritual warfare. The Bible gives us our rules for engagement. It exposes the tricks of the enemy and shows what others have done for victory. As we think about Luke 10:17 today, let's also remember our role as believers is to enforce the victory that Jesus purchased long ago through his cross and resurrection. And that's our thought for today.